hello viewers in today's uh, class we are going to take up some important uh, integrals uh, which involves the derivative of Dirac delta function here we will uh, solve some integrals uh, in which the uh, first order uh, derivative of Dirac delta function is involved right so let us take the first problem so here we have to uh, integrate from minus infinity to infinity e raised to minus x square uh, delta prime of x minus 1 dx right so here uh, we'll make use of the result uh, which says that uh, the integral of f of x and delta prime of x minus a uh, dx is equal to a minus of f prime of a right so here i will make use of this result right okay now here uh, uh, delta prime of x minus uh, a is uh, d by dx of uh, delta of x minus a right okay so now we have to uh, integrate this function so let us uh, uh, compare uh, this uh, uh, integral with this one right so here we see that e raised to minus x square can be taken as f of x and uh, delta prime of x minus a can be uh, written as uh, delta prime of x minus a right so if we compare we get a is equal to 1 right now let us call this integral as i so we have uh, i is equal to uh, if we see this uh, uh, result then we see that uh, when uh, we have f of x delta prime of x minus a then the value of this integral is uh, simply equal to the negative of negative of the value of the derivative of this function f of x at this point right so uh, applying the same argument here uh, the value of this integral is negative of f prime of a and for a we have one right okay so now we have uh, f of x which is e raised to minus x square let us find the derivative of this function so uh, this is uh, d by dx of e raised to minus x square and the derivative of e raised to minus x square is e raised to minus x square and by chain rule we have the derivative of minus x square which is uh, equal to minus 2x right so we have minus 2x e raised to minus x square right okay so now we have to find the value of this derivative at x equal to 1 or a is equal to 1 so f prime of 1 is equal to uh, minus 2 times 1 and here we have e raised to minus uh, 1 square right so we have minus 2 e raised to minus 1 because uh, this is uh, 1 square and uh, this can be written as minus 2 over e right so therefore uh, the value of this integral i is uh, minus of that is negative of uh, f prime of 1 and f prime of 1 is minus 2 over e so minus and minus uh, get multiplied and we get plus uh, 2 over e so this is uh, the required uh, integral of uh, this function now let us take uh, the second problem so here we have to integrate this function and uh, let us uh, call this integral as i right now uh, uh, as we have discussed earlier uh, let us compare this uh, integral uh, with this one 
right so here we see that uh, this is f of x and uh, this is uh, delta prime of uh, x minus a and a is uh, pi over 2 right so now uh, we have uh, f of x is uh, x square uh, sine x right okay so now here let us find the derivative of uh, this function f of x so the derivative of f of x is f prime of x which is uh, d over dx of f of x and uh, d over dx of f of x is x square sine x and here we see that uh, we have the product of two functions u and v right so here we'll make use of uh, the product rule and the product rule says that uh, first function derivative of second function plus second function derivative of first function right okay so now uh, here u is x square and v is sine x so we have x square then we have derivative of sine x then we have sine x and then we have derivative of x square right so derivative of sine x is cosine x so we have x square cos x and here we have uh, sine x derivative of x square is 2x right so we can write it as x square cos x plus 2x sine x right okay so once we have obtained the derivative of uh, f of x uh, we have to find the value of uh, this derivative at a is equal to pi by 2 that is f prime of pi by 2 right so let us substitute uh, x equal to or a is equal to pi by 2 here right so we have uh, here we have uh, pi square over 4 and uh, here we have cos of pi by 2 then we have 2 times of pi by 2 and sine pi by 2 right now cos pi by 2 is 0 and here we have 2 and 2 get cancelled so we have pi times 1 because sine pi by 2 is 1 so this is 0 plus pi that is equal to pi right so now the value of this integral as per this rule is uh, i is equal to negative of f prime of a and we have uh, a is equal to pi by 2 so we have uh, f prime of pi by 2 and f prime of pi by 2 is pi so we have minus pi right so the value of this integral is uh, negative of pi now uh, let us take this third problem so here we have to integrate uh, this function 2x cubed plus 5x minus 7 and delta prime of x right so uh, again uh, what we will do uh, we'll compare this uh, integral uh, with this one right and we see that uh, this is this cubic function is uh, f of x and here we have uh, delta prime of x which can be written as uh, delta prime of x minus 0 right so this integral uh, i can also be written as minus infinity to infinity and uh, we have 2x cubed plus 5x minus 7 and delta prime of x minus 0 dx right so here uh, the value of a is 0 right and f of x is the cubic function and uh, let us uh, differentiate uh, this function right okay so now the derivative of uh, f of x is f prime of x so we have two times derivative of uh, x cubed is 3x square and the derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of 7 is a constant function so the derivative is 0 so we have uh, 6x square plus 5 
right okay now uh, let us find uh, f prime of uh, 0 right so f prime of 0 because the value of a is 0 here so we have uh, 6 times 0 square plus 5 so we have 0 plus 5 that is equal to 5 right so viewers now the value of this integral uh, i is equal to uh, negative of uh, f prime of a and uh, a is uh, 0 so f prime of 0 is uh, 5 so we have minus 5 here right so the value of this integral is minus 5 now let us take uh, this problem so here we have to integrate from minus infinity to infinity x raised to 4 delta prime of x right so let us call this integral as i and again uh, we'll follow the uh, same steps uh, we'll compare this uh, given integral with this one so we can write uh, or we can rewrite this uh, integral as uh, minus infinity to infinity x raised to 4 and delta prime of x can be written as x minus 0 here right okay so now if we compare then we see that uh, this is f of x and uh, this is the delta prime of uh, x minus a and the value of a is 0 right so here we have f of x that is x raised to 4 let us find the derivative f prime of x which is 4 x cube because here we have applied the rule the derivative of x raised to n is nx n minus 1 right so the derivative of f of x is 4 x cube and let us find the value of f prime of 0 so this is 4 times 0 cube and this is 0 right so now uh, the value of this integral is uh, given by a negative of f prime of a and uh, this is uh, minus f prime of 0 and f prime of 0 is 0 so we have here 0 so this is 0 right so the value of this integral is 0 now viewers uh, let us take one more uh, problem now here uh, this problem is very conceptual and it needs special attention right so let us call this integral as i and we have to integrate uh, from minus infinity to infinity del prime of uh, uh, x minus 1 right okay now uh, if we follow the uh, previous discussion then uh, if we compare uh, this integral with this one uh, then we see that uh, i can be written as minus infinity to infinity and here we have uh, delta prime of x minus 1 dx and uh, here we can write 1 clear for the function f of x uh, we can write 1 here okay okay so now uh, if we compare uh, this one with this integral then we see that this is f of x and this is uh, del prime of uh, x minus a and uh, the value of a is 1 right and f of x is equal to 1 now this is a constant function right this is a constant uh, function and uh, the derivative of this function is 0 right f prime of x is equal to uh, 0 clear so now uh, when we have f prime of x is 0 then obviously f prime of a uh, should also be equal to 0 and what is a a is 1 so we have uh, f prime of 1 is equal to uh, 0 right so the value of this integral as per 
this rule uh, should be equal to minus of uh, f prime of a right and uh, we have uh, minus f prime of uh, a is 1 so we have f prime of 1 and f prime of 1 is 0 so we have minus 0 here so this is 0 so the value of uh, this integral is 0 right so sometimes uh, we take uh, this result as a, a standard result uh, and we can write uh, minus infinity to infinity uh, delta prime of uh, x minus say a uh, dx is equal to uh, 0 right so uh, this result can be generalized as uh, minus infinity to infinity delta prime of x minus a and here uh, a can take uh, different values right now viewers uh, let us take one more uh, very important and conceptual problem so here we have to evaluate this integral and let us call this integral as i and following the same discussion uh, let us uh, uh, compare uh, this uh, integral with this one right now before uh, uh, comparing let us uh, rewrite this integral in the form uh, minus infinity to infinity here we have x and del prime of x can be written as del prime of x minus uh, 0 right okay now uh, we are ready to uh, compare uh, this integral with this one so this is uh, f of x and this is del prime of x minus a so the value of a is 0 here and f of x is equal to x right now let us find the derivative so f prime of x is equal to 1 and the value of this derivative at a is equal to 0 is uh, equal to 1 right so f prime of uh, 0 is equal to 1 so the value of this integral can now be written as uh, negative of f prime of a that is equal to negative of f prime of uh, 0 and f prime of 0 is 1 so the value of uh, uh, this integral is uh, negative of 1 